to be given a chance to live as free Americans instead of murder. You think this is funny, Ms. Spitalnik? Is this funny to you? Is babies being murdered in the womb funny to you? Because you're smirking and laughing at me right now. What's not funny are the black people and Hispanic people and Jewish people and Muslim people who have been murdered in synagogue, in church, in supermarkets, in mosques by white supremacists. It was a House hearing on extremism. And after Marjorie Taylor Greene got corrected and laughed at, she went into an extreme verbal tailspin. Are you aware that that all colored people are murdered? Uh, that is That is a fact, that every single color person has been murdered that that's not unusual we've all been murdered what come on marge spit it out it's not just that people of color are murdered white people are murdered too murder is not just for minorities I, that may be a shock to you because you seem to dive deeply into all kinds of misinformation and and seem to be uninformed yourself and if you apparently care about human rights and you care about studying extremism, let's have a little talk about extremism, shall we? I think that's important because that's what this hearing is all about. I'd like to inform you, or maybe you don't know, maybe you do know, I doubt it, you mostly care about white supremacists and white wing extremism, but there's quite a pattern of left-wing violent protests on college campuses today. Uh, Ms. Gaines here was a victim of it. Do you support what they did to Miss Gaines, these trans terrorists chasing her into a room? Do you support their movement? I am absolutely sorry that Ms. Gaines felt threatened and unsafe while she was on a college campus, and that's not acceptable. But again, the statistics tell us that when it comes to politically motivated violence, in 2022, every single murder was committed by a right-wing extremist. Every so, single murder in America was committed by a right-wing extremist? Every single politically motivated murder was committed by a right-wing extremist. Are you sure about that? I am what a, are, you, are you aware that the uh, Tennessee shooter just recently identified as no. a man and she was a biological woman? Was she a right-wing extremist General, as well? General Lady, time has expired. I'll allow the witness to answer the question. So that was a shooting that happened in 2023. There is no okay. evidence as to what ideology motivated that shooting. And what we do know is that cisgender males are responsible for the vast majority of mass shootings in this country. I'm sorry, I don't know what a cisgender male is. There's only two, two genders. It's male and female. That would be, that. I don't, so no one knows what a cisgender male is. It's a made up, made up uh, Unfortunately, idea. Unfortunately, Actually, it's not made up. It's an adjective commonly used in the medical and mental health community. Cisgender refers to a person whose sense of personal identity and gender corresponds with their birth sex. So a person who was born as a male and identifies as a man is a cisgender man. It's not complicated unless you are Marjorie Taylor Greene and everything she spoke about on this day seemed to be complicated and turned into a train wreck. Just while we've been sitting in this, this committee room having this hearing today uh, about left-wing extremism and violence, um, literally, as we were being gaveled in, we experienced some left-wing extremism of our own on the second floor of this building while we've been in here. The Center for Popular Democracy invaded our office building this afternoon to push their extreme agenda on everything from climate to the debt ceiling. Approximately a dozen were arrested while we were sitting in this hearing room. Um, thankfully, my staff brought over uh, pictures to share with you all. This happened right here in the, the rotunda um, of the Cannon Building while we were sitting here in this hearing, having this having this hearing on left-wing extremism. I mean, you kind of can't even make this up. Um, there are peaceful protests and arrests in the halls of Congress every week, but go on. Here they are being arrested by Capitol Police. Uh, we really appreciate their work. Um, here they are being loaded into the vans, thankfully. And um, uh, here's some of their signs that they left uh, here in the in the Cannon Building. I don't know if we call that an insurrection, left-wing ex left extremism, uh, violence. Uh, I'm not sure what we call it. 
Well, you wouldn't call it violent, Marge, because they were not violent. They were peaceful. You wouldn't call it an insurrection because they did not try to overthrow the government. And promoting workers' rights and racial and economic justice, as the Center for Progressive Democracy does, is not usually considered extreme. Uh, that while we're talking about white supremacy, uh, Miss Spitalnik, you were talking about white supremacy. It's Spitalnik. Oh, I apologize, Spitalnik. Miss Spitalnik, while you were talking about white supremacist and abortion. One gets the sense that Green is that person at the restaurant who always calls over to the manager and complains. What do you mean I can't get an extra helping of lard on my grits? I totally agree with you. There's a lot of white supremacist supremacists in the abortion movement um, and abortionists because they have murdered over 20 million black babies in America since Roe versus Wade in 1973. Yay, Marge looked at her cue card and read the year correctly. Amazing. So I, you know, I would agree with you that that could be labeled white supremacy or we could just label it murder and it should never be happening. So if you want to talk about white supremacy and the abortion movement, you should really analyze that in your human rights groups that you run as you collect donations from people with your nonprofit. Because I think that is something extremely important to talk about, is the right for those black babies to have lives as American citizens, the right for them to be born, the right for them to be given a chance to live as free Americans instead of murder. You think this is funny? Miss Spitalnik, is this funny to you? Is babies being murdered in the womb funny to you? Because you're smirking and laughing at me right now. Congresswoman, a lot of people smirk and laugh at you. It happens all the time. But these days, you are freaking out even more than usual. What's going on? Oh, that's right. Donald Trump is telling Republicans you will not be his running mate. That must hurt you, Marge. But don't worry, Speaker Kevin McCarthy owes you, and under his House leadership, you will always have a place on these House committees. And the American people will constantly be reminded that just when we think our elected leaders could not get any dumber, you will get the opportunity to speak and once again, set the standard. By the way, a GOP House committee chair just got humiliated by whiffing on the Biden investigation. The latest from James Comer coming up in a few hours. Fox and Friends starts right now. Have a good day. A countdown clock. That's how excited Fox News was for the Republican House News Conference. Republicans are calling it Judgment Day. Hunter could face charges in tax evasion and illegal gun ownership. The entire family has been putting millions and millions of dollars in their back pocket. But on this Judgment Day for the Republican but investigators, it was a big swing and a whiff. Biden but are you going to be able to prove the central thesis that President Biden was directly involved with corruption? With so right now, you could say that uh, we're in the, the beginning stages of this investigation, but we're going to continue to look. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.